So we have our two servers, our two application servers that have a Laravel application up and running on them. Let's set up our load balancer to load balance between those two. I'm going to head over to my terminal and I'm actually logged into my two application servers, not the load balancer yet. And what I want to do is edit the routes file here. And what we're going to do is change the default route so we know what server we are looking at when we get a response from it. So we're going to do return app server one and down here we'll return app server two. Okay, so let's head to our browser and just make sure we did that right. Look at the IP address there, app server one over here, app server two. Perfect. So we'll be able to tell what server we're getting a response from when we load balance our application. Okay, so the load balancer over here, let's open a new tab. I'm going to log into my load balancer. This does not have PHP installed, just Nginx. So we can head over to Etsy, Nginx, sites available. We see we have our default configuration here, and we'll just edit the default file here and set up a Nginx configuration that is good for load balancing. Okay, so I've just pasted in a configuration. I'm going to ignore upstream for a second, and we'll just head to the server block. This is listening on port 80, so I'm not setting up an SSL certificate yet, but we will. But the server here has this one configuration, listening on port 80. I have a server name here instead of just the default underscore, and that's going to be lb.serviceforhackers.com, and this is the hosting that we're going to use to access the load balancer. I have character set of UTF-8, and then I just have a simple location block for every URI that hits the server where Nginx is listening. So we include proxy params, which will help us proxy off to HTTP requests. Then we'll proxy pass off to app, which is our upstream here. Proxy redirect is off, so don't follow redirects returned from our servers here. Just return that redirect request, redirects responses back to the clients, back to web browsers. And if we have WebSocket connections, handle those with these headers. And that's really it. And if we wanted to, we could also open Etsy Nginx proxy params and just see what that file does. And all that does is set our handy headers here, the X real IP, X forwarded for, X forwarded proto, and the host header. So this is going to set the headers to our proxy server so it has the correct stuff so it can know that it is being used behind a proxy, our load balancer, and to know the correct host name to use along with the actual IP address from the actual client instead of the IP address of the load balancer. So Proto is going to tell us that it is HTTP or HTTPS. x forwarded for is the IP address of the actual end client. Real IP is the same thing. And the host header is just the host name used to access the site from the load balancer. And that's all the configuration I'll do for now. This is really taking care of the important stuff here within the proxy params file, those X forwarded headers. The last thing we want to do here is actually set the IP addresses of the server to load balance between. Now over here, these servers are inside of a private network as well as the public one, so we can access them by their public IP addresses, but it is much faster to send requests from our load balancer to the two application servers over the private network. So we see this has this private network here, 172.319, and this one has 172.310.30. So we're going to use those two private IP addresses here to load balance. So that's app server one. App server two is this private IP address. So now the load balancer Nginx is going to send over the private network to the servers at these local private network IP addresses. All right, so we'll save and quit that and do sudo nginx-t to test it. It says it's good. So sudo service nginx reload to reload that configuration. Let's head on over here. Our application servers are still up and running. And for the load balancer, I'm just going to send this to the IP address for now. Okay, so the default is for it to round robin between the two servers. So when I refresh here, it just keeps bouncing between the two servers. Perfect. All right, and the other thing I did is to set up a host name to that load balancer server. So the LB server at this public IP address should also work for the domain lb.serviceforhackers.com. And it looks like it is up and running. So we're going to use that host name to access the load balancer for now, but these still work as well.